Have you ever pondered how vital it is to transport dangerous goods safely by air? The safety of every flight we take hinges on it, and that's where the International Civil Aviation Organization, or ICO, plays a crucial role. One of its pivotal contributions is Annex 18. But what is Annex 18? It's a set of standards and recommended practices, specifically dealing with the safe transport of dangerous goods by air. These goods can range from explosives to flammable liquids and even radioactive materials. Ensuring their safe transportation without compromising the safety of the aircraft and its occupants is a task of paramount importance. So, let's delve into the fascinating world of ICAO Annex 18. Why do we need something like Annex 18 in the first place, you might ask? Well, let's dive right into it. The main goal of Annex 18 is to ensure the safe and efficient transportation of dangerous goods. But what does that really mean? Imagine a world where dangerous goods are transported by air without any regulations or guidelines. It's not a pretty picture, is it? That's where Annex 18 steps in. It provides a framework to ensure that these goods are transported safely without compromising the safety of the aircraft or its occupants. Think of it like a conductor guiding an orchestra. Each instrument, or in this case, each dangerous good, has its own unique characteristics and needs to be handled in a specific way. Annex 18 is that conductor, ensuring that all these goods are managed in harmony, allowing for a safe and efficient performance, or in this case, transportation. So, when you're flying through the sky on your next flight, you can rest easy, knowing that Annex 18 is working behind the scenes to keep you safe. In essence, Annex 18 is all about safety. Dangerous goods sound intimidating, right? But what exactly are they? Well, in the simplest terms, dangerous goods are items or substances that, when transported by air, can pose significant risk to health, safety, property or the environment. These aren't your average toothpaste and flip-flops. We're talking about goods that require special attention and handling. Let's dive a little deeper. Examples of dangerous goods include, but are certainly not limited to, explosives, flammable liquids and radioactive materials. Imagine a canister of propane, the kind used for your barbecue grill, or perhaps a medical shipment containing radioactive isotopes for cancer treatment. Even certain types of batteries can be classified as dangerous goods due to their potential to overheat and cause fires. But it's not all doom and gloom. With the right precautions and adherence to regulations like ICAO Annex 18, these goods can be transported safely. So, as you can see, dangerous goods aren't your everyday luggage. So what are the guiding principles behind Annex 18, you may ask? At its core, Annex 18 is all about ensuring the safety of the skies. Its key principles revolve around the idea that dangerous goods must be transported in a way that safeguards both the aircraft and those on board. First and foremost, the focus is on identification. Knowing what a dangerous good is and how it behaves is crucial to managing its risks. This extends to its packaging and the procedures followed in handling it. Next, we have the principle of communication. Clear and effective information exchange about the nature of these goods is essential, from the point of origin to the destination. Thirdly, Annex 18 emphasizes the importance of training. Everyone involved in the transportation process from packing to flying must be adequately trained to deal with these hazardous materials. Lastly, there's the principle of preparedness. This means having robust emergency response procedures in place should things go wrong. These principles are the backbone of ensuring safe transport. How does one go about safely transporting these dangerous goods, you might ask? Well, that's where the technical instructions for the safe transport of dangerous goods by air, also known as DOC 9284, comes into play. This document is more than just a set of guidelines, it's a detailed guide that amplifies the provisions of Annex 18. Imagine it as a manual, finely tuned and expertly crafted, spelling out the specific steps to ensure the safe handling and transport of dangerous goods. The Doc 9284 goes beyond the general principles. It delves into the nitty-gritty, outlining the specifics for each type of dangerous good, from the highly explosive to the subtly corrosive. It's a comprehensive guide providing crucial information on how best to handle these goods, all with the goal of maintaining the highest level of safety in air transport. So while Annex 18 lays out the groundwork, the Doc 9284 builds upon it, 
providing a comprehensive framework for the safe transport of dangerous goods by air. To put it simply, the DOC 9284 serves as a comprehensive manual for the safe transport of dangerous goods. How are dangerous goods prepared for transport? That's a question that's crucial to the safety and efficiency of air transport. It's all about packaging and handling. When it comes to packaging, the goods must be secured in a way that minimizes the risk of damage or leakage during transport. Packages are meticulously prepared to withstand changes in temperature, pressure and other conditions they may encounter during the journey. This could mean using absorbent materials, sturdy containers or even lead shielding in the case of radioactive materials. Handling, on the other hand, is all about ensuring that the packaged goods are moved, stored and loaded in a way that maintains their integrity and safety. This might involve using special equipment or protocols to avoid mishandling and it certainly means following strict rules about where and how these goods can be stored on an aircraft. So, you see, the safe transport of dangerous goods isn't just about what's in the package. It's also about how that package is prepared and treated from the moment it's sealed to the moment it's safely delivered to its destination. Packaging and handling, therefore, play a critical role in this process. Who handles these dangerous goods and what training do they require? The answer is simple. It's the personnel involved in the transport of dangerous goods. The importance of their training cannot be overstated. Why is that? Well, the knowledge they gain through training equips them with the necessary skills to handle these goods safely. This training is not a one-time affair. It needs to be ongoing and comprehensive. It covers a wide array of topics such as the nature of dangerous goods, appropriate packaging and handling, and emergency response protocols. It also includes understanding the regulations set forth in ICAO Annex 18 and the technical instructions for the safe transport of dangerous goods by air. This ensures that all personnel, from those who pack and handle the goods to those who manage their transportation, are well versed in the protocols and procedures. This way, they can minimize the risks involved and ensure the safety of everyone on board and on the ground. Remember, it's not just about moving goods from point A to point B. It's about doing so while ensuring the highest level of safety. And that, my friends, is why education is the key to safety when dealing with dangerous goods. What happens when things don't go as planned? Well, when it comes to the transportation of dangerous goods by air, the International Civil Aviation Organization has a clear set of procedures to follow. It starts with immediate containment and control of the situation. The aim is to mitigate any potential hazards and prevent further escalation. Then comes the identification of the goods involved. This is crucial to understand the risks and determine the most effective response strategy. This is where the expertise and training of the response teams come into play. They're equipped with the knowledge and tools to handle a wide array of situations, from fires to leaks or even potential explosions. Once the situation is under control, investigation and learning become the focus. Every incident is an opportunity to refine and improve the existing procedures. Lessons learned are incorporated into training programs and also feed into the ongoing updates of the ICAO's Annex 18 and the technical instructions. Being prepared for emergencies is a vital part of the process. It's all about anticipation, swift action and continuous learning. This way, even in the face of unexpected incidents, the safety of people and the integrity of the aircraft are never compromised. Are there any misconceptions or common questions about the transport of dangerous goods? Absolutely. One of the most common misconceptions is that dangerous goods are always explosive or radioactive. In reality, they can be everyday items like aerosols or lithium batteries. Another frequently asked question is, are all dangerous goods forbidden on aircraft? The answer is no. Some dangerous goods can be transported by air under strict regulations to ensure safety. You might also wonder, does every package undergo inspection? While it's crucial for safety, not every single package is inspected. However, shippers must declare if they are shipping dangerous goods and there are severe penalties for non-compliance. Can passengers carry dangerous goods? It's a common question, and the answer is typically no, with a few exceptions. For instance, passengers can carry a limited amount of toiletries or medicinal products. Understanding these aspects can help us recognize the complexity and importance of safe transport. Busting myths and answering questions help in understanding the true nature of transporting dangerous goods. Is Annex 18 a static document? Well, the answer is a resounding no. As the world evolves, so does the nature of dangerous goods and the technology used to transport them. 
This constant evolution necessitates frequent updates to Annex 18 and the technical instructions. New types of dangerous goods may emerge with time, and the guidelines for their safe transport must be clearly defined. Furthermore, as aviation technology advances, the methods and procedures for handling dangerous goods need to keep pace. The updates are not mere bureaucratic exercises. They are crucial for maintaining the safety and integrity of air transport. They ensure that the guidelines stay relevant, effective, and in sync with the latest developments. In essence, these updates are a testament to the commitment of the International Civil Aviation Organization to continually enhance the safety of air transport. Keeping up to date is crucial to ensure the continued safe transport of dangerous goods.